All right, sir. Forty-one nothing against this tough Urban Rocket team. What do you have to say about your showing tonight? Um, it was a great, great teamwork. Um, I say the the team played uh, well, like together. Um, we were getting ready for this the whole week. I don't know. Um, props to Urban, I guess. Um, they, we just wanted more this week. We were hungry for a win. Um, we got to keep on winning to get this week. So that's what we're here to do. Battle of the Claw next week. Tough game against El Paso. I end its homecoming. What do you have to say about next week and how you're going to prepare for it? Well, we're not really bothered about homecoming right now. We bothered, um, we we're worried more on uh, executing what we have to do this week, going to practice um, 100% um, and getting ready for El Paso High because they have a great team. What is it that you have to maybe, from what you saw from tonight's game and the last week's game, what do you have to do to prepare to uh, prepare for El Paso High? We just have to fix the little mistakes. It's nothing, nothing big. It's just mental stuff. Um, Moving when we have moving, uh, getting a false start when we go on two. Like we have to fix that. We have to fix fumbles. We have to fix our blocking schemes. But and overall, we're doing good. We just have to get get better mentally. And last but not least, what do you want to tell the entire city of El Paso about Austin Panther football? Austin Panther football. We got to put some respect in our name. We we coming with a lot this year, and hopefully, we coming for district two by district, and we're trying to go to area. That's our goal this year. That's good. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah.